Hey everyone, it's Mike. I'm back. Finally, took a long break again. Uh, I keep swearing that I'm going to do these more frequently, but uh, just things happen. Uh, things get busy when you have uh, young kids. But uh, anyway, what I wanted to do today was kind of an unboxing. Um, I've seen a lot of people do unboxing lately. There's a lot of uh, music coming out and reissues and box sets and whatever. And uh, I thought I'd uh, join in. I think this is some, this is something that I haven't seen yet um, with these reissues. Uh, the band I'm talking about, that I'm gonna be talking about in this video is the band Lush uh, out of the UK, a dream pop shoegaze band on 4AD Records. Um, one of my favorite bands. And I've done quite a few videos. I did like a whole comprehensive video um, a while back and I need to kind of uh, update that one because I've gotten a lot of their stuff since then. Uh, I had a lot of stuff back then, but I have quite a bit more. But for now, um, these reissues, uh, Lush or 4AD has reissued their three studio albums, uh, Spooky, Split, and Love Life. And um, I jumped on it, even though I had all these records on vinyl already. Um, I was excited to get some reissues so that I can have some just regular black vinyl um, copies to play and save the color vinyl ones that I already had and just keep them in their box. I got this uh, back in 2016. I got their uh, origami box set and it's got all three albums. Um, plus it's got two extras, uh, Gala, which is a collection of their early EPs and such mini album and a couple EPs and uh, also Topolino which is a collection of um, just various b-sides and stuff that they've released over their whole career um, so I wanted to kind of keep this um, just kind of tucked away and and not played uh, preserved as you will this is what the back looks like um, preserved and then just play these uh, reissues, these black vinyl reissues. So that's kind of what I jumped on. But then um, after, and they released, 4AD released them on black vinyl and on clear vinyl. And I'm not a huge fan of clear vinyl, uh, quite frankly. So I kind of stayed away from that, except for on Spooky. I did get the clear vinyl as well. Um, but then I got a notice from, I, I, I belong to a bunch of different, uh, like 4AD and Lush uh, groups on uh, Facebook. And so I'd get these ads for other, uh, this other version of the um, reissues uh, on colored vinyl rather than the black and the clear that 4AD was offering. So I kind of wanted to do that as well. Um, these origami um, ones that I just, that showed that box set. Uh, for like spooky, it's on gray vinyl or kind of a silver, really nice kind of dark gray uh, vinyl. And then Split, their second full length album, uh, is on this red vinyl. Uh, kind of boring, but whatever. It's red. I mean, it goes with the front cover, so I understand. And then uh, their third and last album, uh, Love Life, uh, came on this pink vinyl. So I was like, okay, well, Bandbox, this company called Bandbox, I had never even heard of them before, but they were releasing these three albums on colored vinyl, and um, but only two of them were different. Uh, the Love Life they were offering on pink vinyl, and I'm like, I don't need another pink vinyl version of, of, Lo of Love Life, so I skipped that one. And then I ordered the uh, Split and Spooky uh, versions on colored vinyl from Bandbox and they finally came in. One came in yesterday, one came in today. So I'm gonna unbox those and see what the, I haven't opened them yet. I, well I opened the split but I didn't open the spooky, the one that came today. So I thought I would unbox the spooky on camera and then show what the split vinyl also looks like. I haven't opened the plastic on either one of them so I don't know what the vinyl actually looks like yet. Um, and then so since I didn't get uh, Love Life on colored vinyl, since I already had a pink one, I did order a copy from uh, Bella Union, which is Simon Raymond's 
uh, record uh, sto record shop out in, uh, I believe it's Brighton in the UK. And uh, he had uh, Mickey come in and sign, autograph a bunch of copies that they were selling in the shop. So, and put them up online. So I grabbed a copy of, of Mickey uh, autographing this copy of Love Life. So that's my special copy of Love Life. And then the other two are on colored vinyl. I also got, since I ordered those copies on um, 4AD, um, there was an op there was a offer where like if you order you get entered into a chance to um, win a copy of a photograph of the band uh, with their autographs of the remaining members of the band and um, I think that there were 50 of these photographs these autograph photographs um, 50 per each uh, release of, of the three album releases so I ordered um, couple times from them and one of my shipments came with the photograph uh, excuse the glare there I put it on in a frame but there's uh, Mickey and Emma and uh, Phil King uh, all of their autographs and Chris Acklin is no longer with us so obviously his autograph is not there they recently signed these so anyway that was really nice to get that as well um, so yeah so let's move on to the unboxing um, I'm going to go ahead and open the one that hasn't been opened at all first, and that's the spooky version. It came in this box here, band box, um, labeled on the outside. And it looks like all I've got to do is cut this tape, cut this tape on the uh, sides and the top, um, and then it just opens right up, I believe, like so. And then you open it up again, and it's got uh, the things inside that Bandbox. This is something special that Bandbox does, is they create these little magazines um, that come with when you order. I guess, I don't know if it's like just the special ones that they do this, or they do this for every release. But anyway, I got this little uh, magazine um, from Lush, and they sent me a sticker, too. They sent me... One of these and the other one as well the other box is band band box sticker um and this magazine's really nice too it's a nicely little printed magazine and it's just got all kinds of info you've seen these with like other record uh, companies that put out these special editions they'll send you a magazine that goes with it but this one's lush and so it's really nice it's not just a bunch of garbage it's a lot of these really nice uh, articles and a lot of photos I've never seen before and just talking about the band and, and their releases and, and whatnot. So nice little book. This this also came with my copy of Split. I've already opened that one, as, as I said before. So anyway, there's that. And then the record, uh, Spooky. Um, I have not opened this yet. So let's see what the uh, vinyl looks like. I'm going to just Pardon me while I, I want to save the, I always save these uh, height stickers. So I'm going to, I'm just going to try to tear this carefully so that I can keep the height sticker. I don't keep things in plastic though. I don't, I always take things out of the plastic, but, but I'll keep the height sticker for later and stick it inside my, my plastic sleeve. So there we go. Uh, and then the inside insert comes out. I don't think there's anything else in there. There's not. So the uh, inner sleeve. And let's see what this orange vinyl looks like. Oh, it's nice. It's, uh, it's not translucent. It's opaque orange. But uh, it's really cool. So it's nice to have that uh, in my collection. Like Spooky is like one of my favorite all-time albums. Like one of my top five albums. So... Hence the, uh, the desire to get this uh, orange vinyl um, variant. I think that there were only 500 made, so and they've been sold out for a while. Um, and then the next box here is already opened. And as you can see, I've got the magazine again. Um, so I've got two magazines. And then here's the copy of Split. Hasn't been opened yet. Can I open it with my hand? Yeah, actually there's like a little opening back here in the back. Maybe I can tear this without messing up the cover. 
If not, then I'm gonna, oh, there we go. Otherwise, I'm gonna use the, the blade. Um, come on, let's go, people. All right, get that plastic out of the way, and here we go. There's the back of the album right there. And then the artwork on the inner sleeve. Really nice, same as all the other versions. Every single, even the origami, they're all exactly the same packaging. Um, and then the vinyl is this opaque. Uh, it's it's not really yellow. It's like a yellow orange. It's very kind of like right in between uh, orange. It's, it's nice. It looks really good. Um, so really s super stoked to have that and to have these. Band box magazines are really nice. And just to have another color variant of these things is pretty cool. So anyway, that's my, um, where's my other record cover? So here's, here they are. Uh, there's that, those are my band box uh, versions. They finally came in. The 4ID ones came in a long time ago. So I was really getting kind of frustrated with band box. And so were a lot of people online. They're like, when are these things ever gonna ship? finally shipped they're finally here I think these came from like Minnesota or something and then the 4AD ones came from New York uh, anyway that's these um, hopefully if you guys want one of these maybe you can find one on Discogs or eBay or whatever and they're not charging an arm and a leg uh, they're no longer available on the Bandbox website um, 4AD ones are still available though black vinyl and maybe even some clear vinyl ones are still available so check those out. And the ones I spoke of, the autograph ones from Bella Union, those have been sold out for a while too. So anyway, I uh, love you guys. Thanks for watching. Uh, Lush is a fantastic band. If you don't know them, go check them out. They have three studio albums and a bunch of EPs and, and whatnot. And it's all really good. Um, really solid uh, work from them. Uh, the guitarist, M Emma Anderson, she's coming out with her first solo album. I believe it comes out in October, the end of October or early November, it comes out, it's called Pearlies. Um, and it's, you can hear a couple of her songs on uh, Spotify already and preview those. And then uh, Mickey has her own band, uh, Perushka, and they've got two albums out. So check those out as well. She sings vocals and plays guitar on those albums. And Emma sings on her solo album. Uh, so you get to hear her voice for the first time singing. It's pretty wild. Anywho, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.